hello friends welcome again and uh, this is my new video about the about making the live project uh, using the aws means uh, cloud platform right so i got many of the inquiry from the many of the students that they are asking that how we can uh, deploy our html based static project uh, on aws right and how we can make it live right so this video we are uh, i am creating for teaching you that how you can deploy your html projects on aws and make it live means how you can make live project uh, using the aws uh, s3 buckets right so normally uh, we are going to develop uh, an html projects right you can develop the html projects using the html css javascript jquery or you can also use different types of and javascript framework like angular or react js applications or backbone js or jquery applications you can develop any type of html projects and after that if you want to make it live then you can make it live on aws console right for deploying it on the aws console you must have the aws account id and password means you have the account details means accounts on the aws right without that you can't use aws right so for registering on the aws you can register on the aws and aws charges two dollars or two rupees from your credit card and it will be refunded after some days right okay so now i am going to uh, deploy an html project on aws and you can use that url means aws after hosting you will get an aws url and you that url will be accessed by any of the computer because that will be live right okay so there are two things you need for uh, developing this project right you must have the html projects available means ready with you and second one you will have the aws console user ready and password right if you don't have user ready and password then you can register on the website and you will get user id and password and after that you can log in once you log inside the system you will get this type of dashboard what we are seeing here right aws provides various of the aws services right for project hosting right s3 is one of the cheapest services provided by aws and where you can host your static website right even if you have the dynamic website aws provides ec2 instances it's like a dedicated server you can deploy your php python or java or any programming language application on that ec2 instances and you can make it live right the second one third one is a serverless application if you don't want to manage the server then you can create serverless applications on the aws in the lambda functions api gateway and you can make it live right so today we will learn about the first option that how you can make your project live using the s3 bucket and how you can deploy the static html website on the s3 bucket and how you can make it live right so let's start so uh, for uh, i already told you you must have two things for uh, deploying your html projects on uh, aws or making it live right so i have the basic project this is the project i have that is the hotel website new and let me explain you the structure here you can see this is the structure i have created about so this is the html this is the basic html form here i am using the ajax for rendering the content you can see this is the index locations and here are the javascript folders images folder and css folder you can see all of the contents here are static i am not using any type of dynamic languages like php java dot net c sharp like that i am not using those type of dynamic server side scripting language here it's a totally static website right and you can uh, develop a static website using the html css and javascript right okay so this is a static website and i am going to host it make it means i am going to make it live on the aws platform right then how you can make it live right so for making it live you must have the user id and password of the aws once you log in inside the aws you will get this dashboard right go on the services and after that you can search you need to search the s3 once you click on the s3 the first one is scalable storage in the cloud once you click on that you will get this screen right here you will get this screen and here you need to create the bucket bucket is nothing it's the folder right where you you have to put your codes html codes right now i am going to 
uh, create the bucket and you, you need to enter the unique bucket name right so i am going to uh, name is html live hotel project right so once you click on the bucket uh, just enter the bucket name and you need to check where you are going to uh, create the bucket it's in the north virginia america right click on the next once you click on the next you will get okay this information there is nothing to do here right and click on the advanced settings so there is nothing to do here right click on the next so once you click on the next then this is the block all public access right you need to uncheck it and click on this disabling block public access why because you are going to upload your HTML project on the AWS means you are making a live project then that URL must be accessed by all of the users right so that's why we are making our public uh, folder publicly available right so click on the next and create bucket once you click on the create bucket you will get a folder here so you can see this is the folder available here html live hotel project once you click on that there is nothing here right you there is nothing here inside this folder right so this is saying this bucket is empty upload new object to get started here object refers to the to your file means it might be html css javascript files right but before that you instruct aws that you are going to use this bucket as a static website hosting right so click on the properties and after that click on the static website hosting it's a disable now right so once you click on the static website hosting just select this one use this bucket to host a website and here in document the first page of your document means which page you want to open at the time of opening the page means url so i am saying here index.html why index.html because i have index.html here available inside the folder if i have abc.html then we need to put there abc.html but i have index.html then you need to put index.html estimate here and here also right this is the url of your project the endpoint url where you can from where you can access your project right click on the save once you click on the save you will get okay it's the bucket hosting is enabled on your project right now click on the overview and upload all of your code here right so how you can upload it right just open that upload and once you click on the press select all the files and drag it here right and once you drag it here right click on the next and the next right and the next upload once it's upload right you will be able to you will be able to once it's uploaded then you will get all of the file here right all of the static files here which you have uploaded right so oh, it's failing i don't know why it's failing so let me check here it's you can see files are getting uploaded right so let's see we will upload it again if it's failing right okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to oh, i think there is a problem with this one right and i'm going to upload here again so click on the upload and upload it right so once you click on the next 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 upload right so it's uploading right you can see there is a success there is no fail records here right once all file uploads on the bucket what you need to do you need to make these file publicly available how you can make it just click on this checkbox and action and then after that make public once you click on the make public then those files will be publicly available right now this you have hosted your project successfully right now what will be the url how you can access it then for url click on the properties and after that static website hosting right this is your url once you click on that url you will be able to see your project here you can see your project is here right it's running fine right so you can see this is the static website and now you have uploaded your html static project successfully on the aws and it's a live project it's 
live on the AWS cloud platform, right? So what you have learned here, right? You have learned that how you can uh, publish your HTML static website on the AWS, right? How you can create hosting using the AWS S3, right? So, and how you will get, be able to get the URL of the project, right? So you can see all of the pages are working fine here, right? So this is the static website hosting, what we have uploaded, right? So if you need any, if you are facing any issue during the upload or if you get any issue in the AWS, then you can put it into the comment. I will reply you there and I will help you to make your project live, means HTML, CSS and JavaScript project live using the AWS and the S3 bucket and using the cloud, right? And don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest videos on the different technologies and latest project technologies. And thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.